Natalie from the edtechwizard.com. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new around here, welcome, welcome. And on my channel, you'll find videos all about teaching online, using technology in your classes, and becoming the best online teacher you can be. In this video, we're going to talk all about how to share your screen using Zoom. If you teach online specifically for out school, you have most likely shared your screen during a Zoom class, or maybe you haven't. Um, you're brand new, new to Zoom, new to out school, and you need to figure out how to use Zoom. So sharing your screen is a great way to um, interact with your students, to show your students um, your slide presentation, part of your lesson, play a game with them. All of that can happen as long as you share your screen with them. Now there are three different ways to share your screen with Zoom and I'm going to show you how to share your screen and what the difference is between these three di different options that makes it really fun. What you're going to do is hop on over to Zoom and I will show you what you need to do. Here we are in Zoom. So how to share your screen three different ways and each of these three different ways can serve its own purpose for what you need to do and how you need to share the content for your lesson that you're sharing with your out school students. So what we need to do first is hover your mouse way down at the bottom, click share screen and it comes up with several options over here. So I'm going to move this. Whoop, there we go. Okay, so we have a basic and advanced for sharing our screen. So we're going to go back to basic. We have three options here for sharing your screen for showing what's on your screen. If you want to know about whiteboard, how to use the whiteboard in your classes, then I do have another video for you all about how to use the whiteboard in your class and how to use it to engage your students. It is a neat feature, so be sure to check out that video. Now, sharing your screen here in basic, if I click any of these two, it's going to share my entire screen. So if I click this one, and then over share, um, you are seeing exactly what your students are going to be seeing, my entire screen. I can see what tabs I have open, I can see whatever tasks I have down at the bottom open. Absolutely everything. If you are presenting in a like a Google Google Slides or Canva and you're hit, hitting present mode and that presentation takes up your entire screen, that's a great option to share your screen. Now let's talk about the advanced features. So advanced, there are two options you have. One is PowerPoint as a virtual background and a portion of your screen. So let's talk about sharing just a portion of your screen first. I personally, this is the only way I, the, the way I usually most often share my screen is I just share a portion of it. And why? Let me show you. So portion of screen, share because of this. I play and have a lot of interactive games and lessons with movable pieces in it. So what that is going to look like, um, students will see what is in my green box and I can resize this green box to fit my activity. So I have you know, Google slide, it's a little wider. I just move my box and it will fit my whole slide in. Uh, but I share the portion of my screen so students are only seeing the board game because that's in the green box and I can then move the pieces around for my board game. If this is a Google slide on my left hand side I can see all of my slides so I can skip some if I need to or, or go back based on time but I'm able to move the pieces around. This is why I share a portion of my screen. One, so I can move the pieces around. Two, so I have access to, in Google Slides, all of the slides on the side. And 
notes down at the bottom. It is amazing. If I go and present this, this um, presentation, I cannot move these pieces around. If I click on something, it's just going to go right to the next slide. Um, and you can see I would have to adjust this box real quickly to give my students permission to see the whole thing. So that's where sharing your whole screen would come in handy. But I want to be able to move my pieces, so I will share just a portion of my screen. And I have um, another video that I talk about all the games that I play with my classes, and I do mention a board game in there. Um, so you can see how I use the board game in my classes, and I do have another video all about drag and drop activities using Google Slides. Uh, they are a total game changer and makes your lesson interactive. So if you want to know more about those and how to create them, go check out those videos. Now our last way to share our screen is with a virtual background. So that was PowerPoint as a virtual background. Now this one is you have to use PowerPoint. So what you're going to do is create a PowerPoint, your lesson in PowerPoint, download that to your computer, and then you can upload it. Now to share as a virtual background, I suggest you have a green screen. I have um, just a green piece of fabric. It's thumbtacked to my wall, and I just have it um, bunched up there with Velcro strips. So that's how I keep it up out of the way when I'm not using it. And then when I'm going to use that virtual background option, I just let it down, which I'll show you. And then you'll you will go from there. It's super super cool. So let's let down the green screen. Ta da! Okay, I now have a green screen. How cool is that? So what you need to do, share screen, PowerPoint as a virtual background. And that's going to bring up a file folder ding, 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 right there where you're going to pick that presentation, PowerPoint presentation you've downloaded. And then you will click open and it pops you your, your PowerPoint presentation up behind you. And the coolest part, I see I have these little things right there you can see. That's okay. But I can resize myself. Ta-da! Hello, everyone! And now I'm like a part of my lesson. And I feel like a weatherman. <laughs> it takes some getting used to to get to point to what's up here because it's backwards. But you'll get used to it. So that's how to share your screen as a virtual background. Now, once you've created that whole PowerPoint, you can create more than one slide, a whole PowerPoint. And I, I just had to adjust myself a second so I can touch, um, hit these buttons. But as you're presenting your lesson, you can also move your slides over. It is a lot of fun and it is like a surprise to your students. Whoa, she's in her lesson. It's really cool. A very cool feature to have. So you could have, you could use a green screen behind you, just a green piece of fabric and, or a blank wall, all one color that might work as well. And um, don't, it's hard if you use backgrounds that are, um, like if you have a map behind you, because then it starts to like peek through like this in your background and it doesn't look as crisp and then when you're done presenting this way and you can move yourself around it's awesome and then just click share and that's how you can share your share your screen three different ways um one more thing i just remembered about that sharing a portion of your screen the box that box has a memory so if we share a portion of our screen this box has a memory. You can see this is the last size my box was up when I closed it. So that's going to be the first size that pops up. So if you're doing a lot of Google Slides, it's going to pop up exactly where you need it 
ready to present. You're not going to have to move it around every time. It's going to be ready to go. That's an awesome feature for sharing a portion of your screen. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can watch more videos all about um, how to use Zoom as well as other tech videos. But this um, upcoming weeks I do have videos coming out about Zoom whiteboard, how to use the whiteboard, and some basic features of Zoom to get you up and running. So be sure to check those out in the upcoming weeks and I will see you next week. Bye everyone.